Pio Nation. I hope you are doing well today. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Married Ecology Esports. So today we have not one, but two matches coming at you. In a matter of moments, our Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Team will be going up against Ohio Northern University. So they're getting things set up in the lobby for that right now. And then later on tonight, our League of Legends team will be playing against University of Mountain Union. So all part of the GLEC, but it feels like an OAC match in my opinion. But we are getting things set up. So let's go over who will be playing in our competition today. So we have here, I'm just going to go through here. We got a lot of people in the Smash team, if you haven't noticed. But we have sophomore Peyton Angle, uh, Ginger Ale going to be playing. We will have Junior Zach Lane, the weed, playing. And we will also have Junior Aether McDonald Inava uh, playing uh, today. And, of course, we have our head coach, Derek Games, Games Grump. But, all right, we may be starting very soon. So I'm going to try to get through a couple announcements very quickly. So first of all, I do want to give a shout out to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor for Married Ecology Sports. They provided our facility with keyboards, uh, mice, headsets, uh, microphones, uh, great quality. Uh, our students love it. If you want to check out HyperX, please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash Marietta ES. The QR code is up on your screen. We also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are their game nights where they'll have their Switch available so you can play some Super Smash Brothers and Mario Kart and so forth. On Tuesdays, uh, they will be airing our Overwatch matches. So if you're in the area, you can go check out their restaurant on Front Street uh, for great food, drinks, and cheer on our Overwatch team on Tuesdays. Speaking of restaurants, uh, this Monday, we are going to have uh, partnering with Wings Etc. for our Dime to Donate fundraiser. Uh, so during the entire operating hours of Wings Etc., if you go in and order some food and present them a flyer, you can download the flyer at bit.ly slash 47OJBAX or print it. 15% of the subtotal uh, for the food and drink subtotal will go towards the esports program. So this is a great way to get some food, uh, have some fun, but also be able to support our program at no additional uh, cost to you. Now, if you're not in the area, there are still ways to help support our program. We are in the middle of our virtual stadium setout campaign. Uh, right now, uh, we're very, very thankful for your support. We have raised $870 towards eSports, so thank you all for your gifts. We, we really appreciate it. It's definitely going to be able to help our students. Uh, we're trying to get some more computers for our facility. This is a great way to do that. So you can go to givecampus.com slash 4JS65M. The QR code is up on your screen. Uh, these links are also on our social, social media channels as well. Uh, it's $10 for a virtual ticket. You can purchase as many virtual tickets as you want. Just make sure you designate eSports when making that gift. And this is still going on for about another month. It's going to go until October 23, 20, 23, 23rd. But... Uh, You'll be hearing more, a lot more about this, but we are so thankful for the, the money that's been raised so far. Uh, we're hoping we can hit that goal to raise even more so that way we can purchase some computers. During our day of giving stream, we raised quite a bit. So that gives us one computer. So now we're gonna see if we can try to get another. Of course, we are always looking for more students for our program. We are recruiting for our Fortnite, League of Legends, Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, Smash Brothers, and Valorant teams. So we have our dedicated facility here on campus. We have several coaches for most of our teams. Uh, we have support to try to make sure our students are doing well academically and mentally as well. Uh, and we do have scholarships available for high school seniors and college transfers. So you can go to linktr.ee slash Marietta Esports uh, for links for all the information, links to follow us on our social media, whether it's Twitch or Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or YouTube. You can even set up a Discord call uh, to talk to our head coach and it looks like we are getting things uh, started up here. So I'm making sure I have the correct side. But here we go. It looks like Ginger Ale is going to be leading off on Corin, And Ohio Northern is going to be bringing out Pichu. So very interesting. This is the 3v3 cruise uh, matchup. I think with Pichu, is like Pichu can hit pretty hard. But it does take a lot of damage when using its own abilities. So we'll see how uh, Corin can uh, exploit that. But we are seeing Pichu doing quite a bit of damage. Ginger Ale is trying to get back onto the platform, staying in the center as much as possible. But Pichu using those shields. 
to prevent Ginger Ale from doing a lot of damage. Ginger Ale's already at 94%. Trying to go for those kicks, but it seems like they're kind of predicted, so Pichu is going to have the shield ready for it. Goes for the upbeat, gets back onto the platform. And we're going to see already one stock down for the, the Pioneers. So Ginger still has two left. Pichu at 47%. We're getting a little bit of lag spike. We are using NDI to be able to see uh, the match here. Christian Pichu is just putting on those combos, getting uh, Ginger already at 45%. But trying to break the shield as well. If Jujuro is able to break the shield, that would be advantageous. Great kick there. Trying to go for the finisher. Doesn't quite get it. The audio is a little low too. So let me see if I can increase the volume of the, uh, of the game. That might help a little bit too. Let's see. And that's going to be another stock down for the Pioneers. Now Pichu is at 111%. So Ginger just needs to get one good hit on this Pichu. But that Thunder, oh my goodness. Just using the thunder to smack down, and unfortunately, Ginger Ale is out in this first game, not being able to take down a stock uh, from Ohio Northern's Pichu. So they will discuss the the next map, and and it looks like the weed is no Inaba is going to be coming in, but. And bring out the Min Min. And of course, Inava is not in the camera, so uh, so we might not be able to, to see them on the screen. They're kind of off to the, the side here. So we're just going to wait to see what the, um, the map's going to be. So they're talking it over on Discord right now. Still talking things over, but it looks like it's going to be Pokemon Stadium 2 again. Yeah, it looks like Marietta is ready. And we are going to be going in here. Just going to swap sides here for a second. Now, since Pichu did not drop any stock, uh, they'll go straight into the fight. Pichu already starting off with some combos and not giving uh, Inaba a chance to react. And using that, th just another quick drop of the stock, using that thunder while in the air. So Inaba's gonna have to use those arms to keep the distance and not get launched because we're already seeing that combo with the thunders. Not Pichu into the air. Joseph for the Dragon Punch doesn't quite connect. We're getting a little bit of FPS lag. And another stock gets dropped by on Inava. This Pichu is being relentless. And does get one stock finally. But still has a ways to go to try to eliminate Pichu. And a little bit of edge guarding there, but Inaba using the combos of those arms. Pichu shielding the the dragon punch. Now 
Nice little grab there, launching Pichu in the air. Tries to go for another smash attack. Doesn't quite get it. Great launch there. Pichu's going to be trying to knock in the air and does take out Inaba. So Inaba was able to take out one stock from Pichu, but we're already down to our last player. It's going to be uh, the weed. Probably going to be going with that uh, little Mac. So we're going to talk about the, what will be the map. And this is going to keep it on Pokemon Stadium 2. But this time Pichu will have to drop a stock, but still, I don't know, it has eight stock remaining. So already starting with a, a big punch onto Pichu, but what's going to be a little bit tricky here is Pichu is also really good at close range combat. And already putting a lot of damage onto uh, Reed's little Mac. Great uppercut there. But of course, with uh, Little Mac's lack of recovery off the edges, Pichu's going to want to try to launch him into the air, then use that thunder to make it really hard to recover. The KO is set. So we'll see if he tries to connect it using shields to just kind of block the, uh, the spam thunder shocks. Gets the uppercut and takes it down. But that's going to be a stock drop onto uh, the weed as well. Try to go for that thunder combo, but fortunately the weed does miss. It's fine going on between. Already at 53%. Trying to lock him in the air. Gets the KO, but not going to get the recovery, and that's... Yeah, and it's going to lose the KO as well. So now the weed's down to the last stock. Gets the knockout. This is exactly what he wants. And gets that charge punch and will launch out that Pichu. So the Pioneers are down, but not out. But that shield break is exactly what we needed to stay alive in this first game. So we'll see what will be the next map here. Okay. Yeah, they're really excited right now with the with that win. I'm no, just waiting to see what will be the the next map here. It looks like it's gonna be small battlefield. And once ready, we're gonna see Jigglypuff. The weed is going to have to drop some stock. Because he's already down to uh, his last one. So one stock in a dream. Gets the counter. Chicks Buff's already trying to launch. Weed in the air. Goes for a charge punch, but not going to fall for it. With Jigglypuff being such a floaty type character, it's going to be really hard to do a bunch of launches. Yeah, just kind of a charge punch, but not going to 
fall for it. Another launch in the air. Gets the uppercut, but not the recovery. Oh, you can see the disappointment. He tried to, to launch up there, but was not able uh, to get it. Uh, so with that, Ohio Northern uh, will take the first game here. Now, so we're going to do a little update with how we handle the, the score here. We're going to keep track of the stocks that were taken uh, instead of the uh, stock remain. I think that makes a little bit more sense. And it actually shows that the Pioneers uh, got some stock as well. But, um, but yeah, so, I mean, they were able to take down one character, but uh, how Northern would just, on that Pichu was just able to take down two. But we're already getting things set up for the second game here. So I'm just making sure everything's all set up. And it looks like, I think the weed is going to be leading out for the Pioneers. I know they have a tendency to go in reverse order. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. Now it's going to be Pichu versus Little Mac, the rematch. So we'll see if the, the weed can take this fight. Yeah, just using those spam thundershocks because knowing that the weed has to get into close range. And already launching in the air. Going to go for that thunder combo, but actually decides not to do it. The KO is ready. But Pichu is not giving him a chance. Does get back onto the ledge. But still taking a ton of damage from this Pichu. And just not giving the weed any opportunity to land hits. Goes to the charge shot, but the shield is going to deflect it. Great little counter there. Goes for the charge shot, but it's just predictable and just using the, the thunder shocks to break that. But little jab there, Pichu gets back onto the ledge. The KO is online once again. It's a nice little punch there, but the KO unfortunately was burned. But... And just using that edge guarding to prevent the weed from getting back onto the platform. But that's going to be a nice stock drop there from the weed. So two to one. for the charge shot it does miss I'm trying to launch Pichu in the air but we has got to be a little careful there I think it almost had a little heart attack didn't want to fall there Pichu putting a lot of damage KO is online once again and the uh, KO does whiff and that uppercut just is not going to be able to keep him up there trying to get back on the platform but the disruption from the uh, the thunder shocks was just enough to prevent him from getting back, and that's just one of the weaknesses with the uh, the little Mac is just recovery is very difficult. So we're gonna see. I think Inava is gonna be up next. Yeah, so there comes the, the Min Min. But we'll see if they keep it onto Pokemon Stadium 2 or if they uh, bring out another map. Yeah, it looks like everyone is ready. So we was able to take down one stock from Pichu. So we'll see if uh, Inava can try to finish off this Pichu. Three, two, one, go. 
Okay, I think the, the uh... I don't know, just remember, okay, gotta drop one stock. But already Pichu striking first. Trying to use those arm combos, launches Pichu over, use that Dragon Punch, but does not connect. Pichu follows up with a couple air kicks. Play out combo after combo. I mean, although the one benefit is Pichu is taking savings and a great attempt, great smash there from Inava. No, Inava will drop a stock, so now it bounces up. As I was saying, I mean, with Pichu using attacks, it does take damage while it's using its abilities, so that does help. Like, the more abilities that Pichu uses, the more its damage goes up. We're seeing Pichu just ramping up the attacks and launching Inava already down to last stock. Getting some lag here. The Pichu's already trying to make sure using that thunder. But Inava gets back to the platform. Pichu is also going to recover. It's back and forth. I know it's at 93%. Pichu at 72, 75. Gets back to the platform. Try to use the Thunder for the finisher, but does not connect. Goes for a down smash. Doesn't connect with Pichu. And Inava is going to get launched off. And unfortunately, did not take down the Pichu. Drops a stock, but now it's going to be up to Ginger Ale to finish off the Pichu and keep the Pioneer's hopes alive. Yeah, looks like Jadria will bring out the corn. Uh, we'll see if they keep it on Pokemon Stadium 2, but looks like everyone is ready. So Pichu's going to have to drop two stock. Alright, so we'll see. Ginger already starting some attacks here. It's able to land a couple hits because one thing when uh, Korn went against Pichu last night was they were trying to really telegraphed the the kicks so this time i'm gonna to have to make sure they don't uh telegraph as much stuff but we're already seeing ginger ale at 75 percent trying to put some damage onto pichu it's launched here maybe looking for the thunder combo but decides not to go with it there's the thunder combo but uh, ginger ale does miss but at 115 percent launches ginger ale and that's going to be one stock drop for marietta Let's go for the range attack, but doesn't quite get it. Each of just utilizing those thunder shocks to disrupt as much as possible. Did you are doing that thunder and that thunder slam once again takes scoring down to her last life. Okay. Not able to hit the counter. Pichu just keeping corn in the air, which is not where you want to be against a Pichu. 
which is at 100%, so a good hit will knock him out. There's a nice launch. And does get the hit, and will able to take down Pichu. One stock in a dream, but was able to land that crunch right as Pichu landed. So wait to see what map Ohio Northern wants to, to go with. Looks like it's going to be a small battlefield again. We may see the return of Jigglypuff. May. I'm just waiting to see what Ohio Northern is going to be selecting. They're kind of talking over Discord right now. But looks like they are ready. And no, we're going to see a Robin come out. But Jadira will be on her last stock, so it's going to have to drop two. They're having a, a good time here, just spinning in circles, waiting. But all right, so we're going to see how they go against this Robin. Robin can have some very powerful ranged attacks. Throwing that fire out. So far, Jadrell's getting Robin to about 40%, but she's got to dodge those fireballs. Tries to go for the range attack, doesn't quite connect. Using the the shield does get a nice kick onto. Yeah. They were looking for the smash attack, but JJ was able to dodge. So the lightning doesn't connect. Counters the arc fire, launches Robin in the air. It's at 95%. But yeah, using those range to launch here, but gonna get back to the platform, dodges the smash attack. Lightning does connect. And that off smash is going to take out Ginger Ale. So that will do it. So unfortunately the Pioneers uh, do fall to Ohio Northern. Uh, but they were able to take down a couple stocks, so it was just kind of three to nine for uh, both games here. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're seeing some improvements and some nice combos there. But the Smash team will be back tomorrow. But later on today, in about an hour, our League of Legends team will be playing against Mountain Union. And I think what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and take the stream down and then bring it back up a half hour just to give the, the machines a, a little bit of a, a rest here. That way it's nice and ready to go uh, for the uh, the League of Legends match. And we'll bring up the stream again uh, around 7 o'clock Eastern time, and the match will start around 7.30. So for all the latest updates, let's go on with Marion College Esports. Please be sure to follow us here on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shout-outs to all of our sponsors, to HyperX, Over the Moon Pizza, Kovacs, Elgato, Buy Blue Light, uh, MSI, and Accrediware. Thank you all for your follows. Thank you for your subscriptions and your support. We hope to see you in about an hour for our League of Legends game. We'll see you then.